If the internet goes down, if the grid goes down for an extended period of time, having cryptos, having gold, having silver, having cash, that is going to be the least of your worries. I hope that this video wakes up one person to the fact that you need to be prepared. Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are still not of the preparedness mindset, this is just another reason to get prepared. Forget all of the geopolitical issues going on. Forget all of the political issues going on. Forget all of the civil issues or infighting that we have within our country and other countries as well going on. But take a look at this. This is the most powerful force that we know. The sun. Yes, the sun is more powerful than any geopolitical issue going on, any political issue, any infighting that we may have in going on, any problems with manufacturing, any of that is more powerful than that. And here they are saying that an upcoming solar blast can and more likely will knock off the internet for four or more weeks. I've had several people ask me in the past, what would you do with Bitcoin or you know, your bank account or anything like that if the internet went down or if the grid went down. You know, they were pretty much contesting, why do you get cryptocurrencies? Why do you invest in cryptocurrencies? And my answer to that is and was, if the internet goes down, if the grid goes down for an extended period of time, having cryptos, having gold, having silver, having cash, that is going to be the least of your worries. You better hope that you have food, that you have water, that you have a way to protect that food and water. Depending on what part of the country you live in, that you have fuel to heat your home and or some kind of backup electricity to cool your home if you live in an arid area where it gets really hot and you need air conditioning in order to survive because there are some parts of the world and this country where people need air conditioning in order to survive so what would you do if we got hit by a solar blast that took out the internet because ladies and gentlemen many people don't understand that the internet pretty much controls everything I forgot the name of that pipeline that got shut down that gasoline sh pipeline that got shut down because of a hack well, why did it get shut down because of a hack? Because it is mainly operated via the internet, right? Via an internet line. Just like almost everything else, not only in our country, but in our world. If the internet went down, supermarkets couldn't place their orders, all right? Manufacturing companies couldn't place their orders. They more than likely would stop running. I remember my old job before I left the rat race uh, and it wasn't a very important job when it comes to necessities of everyday life like food, water, electricity, uh, sanitation, all that kind of stuff. But if the internet went down, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't do absolutely no work that was relevant to the type of work that we were supposed to be doing in that job. And I'm sure that that's what it's like for almost any industry. And here in this article, which we will go over, they're predicting that within the next 10 years, oh, AP, that's 10 years away. No, within the next 10 years, meaning that it can happen tomorrow or the day after. See, ladies and gentlemen, we're all so focused on what's going on in the world right now and for good reasons, all right? I'm not taking away any, you know, reasoning as why we should be concerned about what's going on in the world right now, but we're all so focused on these things that we lose sight of the greater picture of the things that really control our lives. And the sun is one of them, believe it or not. I, I remember in high school, uh, you know, one of my teachers, I forgot what class it was, I'm not sure if it was physics or just regular science class, where they said that if the sun automatically switched off, which we know that's not gonna happen, right? At least not for another 4.5 billion years or so, that if the sun automatically switched off, that the earth would freeze solid within 18 minutes. I believe was the time frame that he gave us. So the sun, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot more powerful than all of those things. And if it interrupts our internet and or our power for a long period of time, 
man, you better hope that you're prepared. You better hope that you're prepared in every possible way. So if you're one of those people that still hasn't jumped on the prepping bandwagon, because ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but prepping is cool nowadays. More and more people are doing it. And more and more people are doing it in disguise. Let me go ahead and show you this email that I received from one of our community members here. Uh, not too long ago, just a few hours ago while I was going over my emails. Something really bizarre just happened. I went to walmart.com to complete my online order and the page informed me I was being placed in a waiting room because the site could not handle the amount of people. It said that when there's room, my page would automatically update. I have never seen this before. Have you heard of this? Ladies and gentlemen, people are prepping more than ever. But are you? You see, people are now panic buying over the internet instead of going to the stores. But why? Maybe they're double dipping. Maybe they're going to the stores and going to the internet. Or maybe they just don't want their neighbors or people in general to know that they're stocking up. So why aren't you? The sun has been quite active in recent days, with solar flares and coronal mass ejections leaping into space, occasionally blasting into the direction of Earth. Now scientists are warning that an upcoming solar blast will knock the internet offline for many weeks or months, adding to the problems that significant space weather event can bring with it. Scientists cannot pinpoint when this will occur, but based on past solar cycles, it's quite possible such an impact will occur at some point within the next 10 years. And I subscribe to Suspicious Observer, I believe it is. Man, really, really smart. I mean, I don't know if he's a PhD or what, but he is extremely smart and intelligent. And he pretty much says the same thing. That within the next 10 years, comparatively to the solar cycles that we have just entered in, and those solar cycles of the past, especially the one that occurred on or about, I believe it was September of 1959, the Carrington event, where the Earth was slammed by a very big coronal mass ejection. And during that time, there was not very much technology like there is now. So the only things that were affected really were the wires that they used for telegram and stuff like that. But imagine if that happened today, ladies and gentlemen, with our weakened electrical grid and also our satellites that are hovering out in space that may not be protected against a large burst such as one that happened back in 1959. A new paper written by University of California assistant professor, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name, entitled Solar Superstorms Planning for an Internet Apocalypse, describes the threat the sun poses to the global web of computers and the communications between them. In this paper, we investigate the impact of solar superstorms that can potentially cause large-scale internet outages covering the entire globe and lasting several months. Ladies and gentlemen, if that happened where it affected the internet, I would only have to assume that it would also affect the grid. The grid is also heavily sustained by the internet. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about it actually affecting the grid to where no power will be fed into your home or into our homes. I'm going to go ahead and skim to the rest of this article, ladies and gentlemen. That way it doesn't take too long, but you'll get the gist of what the article is about. Obviously, you probably already have. It is common to see coronal holes produce geomagnetic storms that eventually impact the sun. NOAA forecasters analyze these features and have to take them into account during each forecast. If Earth is experiencing the effects of a coronal hole and a coronal mass ejection is forecasted to impact Earth, the combined effects could result in a more significant impact and more intense geomagnetic storming. Analyzing data from the DS Cover and ACE satellite is one way forecasters can tell when the enhanced solar wind from a coronal hole is about to arrive at Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you something. These scientists and these people in government that know about this and that write about this, ask yourselves a question. Do you think 
that they are preparing do you think that they have backup generators and I'm not talking like at their facility I'm talking about like individually in the homes where their families live do you think they have a backup generator do you think that they have a Faraday cage do you think that they have several months if not years worth of food water and supplies put away do you think they do I think they do and I think that they know that eventually as they're stating here that it is inevitable that we are affected by a coronal mass ejection coming from the Sun and it will knock out our satellites and it will more than likely knock out our electric power while these solar events can help illuminate the sky with stunning aurora they can also do considerable harm to electronics electrical grids and satellite and radio communications and here they go over what happened in 1959 it was on September 2nd or September 1st and 2nd of 1959 a powerful CME struck the earth and the storm was so intense that it created extremely bright vivid aurora throughout the planet people in California thought the Sun rose early people in the northeastern US could read a newspaper at night from the Aurora's bright light and the event severely damaged the limited electrical and communication lines that existed at that time telegraph systems around the world failed with some telegraph operators reporting they received electric shocks it is likely such an event will occur again but even a less severe solar event could knock out the internet the Sun cycles in and out of active periods one longer cycle is known as the Gleisberg cycle this takes place every 80 to 100 years during the Gleisberg cycle large-scale solar events during solar maxima become four times more likely to occur they go on to say that a recent study from November 2020 suggested that this cycle has the potential to be one of the strongest on record if this estimate proves accurate it will also significantly increase the potential of a large-scale event this decade while the exact timing of such a solar blast isn't known scientists are fairly confident an internet killing blast is likely at some point in the future worse it appears the United States is more vulnerable than other countries around the world the US is one of the most vulnerable locations with a high risk of disconnection from Europe during extreme solar events you see one of the problems that I see in the United States and probably a lot of other countries as well but mainly in the United States is something called delayed gratification which means that you have to put in the work now in order to get the benefits later on which means that you have to do what you have to do today so that tomorrow you can do what you want to do but we don't do that here when we want things we want it now and as preppers we understand delayed gratification we know that that number 10 can of freeze-dried food that we put away or those seven or eight jars quart jars of proteins that we pressure canned or vegetables that we water bathe from our garden that when we put them away all that work that we put into them we can enjoy those later on down the line when we need them so are you a prepper are you prepared are you preparing are you ready to take the leap into the world of preparedness I'm asking you because if you're not prepping then why aren't you prepping haven't you seen enough with what's going on and now if you've never heard of this before of a coronal mass ejection and that scientists are now predicting that it will happen within the next 10 years after hearing this is this enough to get you convinced that you have to prepare so that you and or your family will not suffer during times where you cannot allocate the resources that you need in order to sustain that very standard of life that you've become used to and when I say sustain your standard of life I don't mean getting in a car and going to work every day I mean being able to eat being able to drink clean water being able to treat a small wound these are the things that we need to be thinking about ladies and gentlemen are you able to protect yourself and your family when there's no law enforcement available I was thinking with all of these people that are leaving their jobs because of these mandates going on I was thinking what's gonna happen when hospitals start to shut down 
what's going to happen when businesses have to sh shut down and they cannot provide those services that we're used to what's going to happen when dmv shuts down and you need to upgrade or update your license or your registration what's going to happen when police officers start quitting their jobs in mass but if something like this happens where we have a coronal mass ejection that engulfs the earth and shuts down the electricity and or the internet people won't have a choice they just won't have a job to go to period because we won't have the infrastructure in order to support employment period you'll be working for yourself you'll be working to survive having said that I hope you got something out of this I hope that this video convinces one person I hope that this video wakes up one person to the fact that you need to be prepared remember to be good to each other when good people do good things good things happen remember to reach one teach one and repeat if we all did this the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place many blessings to all of you and your families I'm Alaska Prepper and I'm out God bless